Today, if you want to succeed, whatever you do, it doesn't matter what your profession is. You could be a comedian, you, you know, you could be a marketer, a salesperson, a, te a techie. You better have an entrepreneurial mindset and entrepreneurial skills. Mm -hmm. In your book, you also talk about in the future of work, which is actually now, you talk about the owner mindset, the entrepreneur mindset versus the employee mindset, and how that's become even more critical in today's 21st century world. Can you elaborate a little bit sure. about that? Look, the idea of stable jobs in and in stable employers and companies leading to you know good, good long careers, climbing a ladder, and then retiring in comfortably. I think that is an obsolete idea for most of us. Mm -hmm. It is still relevant, but for smaller and smaller percentage of the workforce. Mm -hmm. And there are a number of reasons why this is happening. One is technology, right? So if you see what technology is doing broadly, it's driving up productivity. So a company like yours or take a bank or a t any company, mm -hmm. it's able to grow revenues and profits without adding people commensurately. Right. Okay. So there's less job creation. The second thing that's happening is there's just so much uncertainty and turbulence that companies are saying, we better stay flexible. So you look at a car company or any other company, they'll have a small core of permanent workers and then lots of flexible work arrangements, subcontractors, consultants, you know, gig work of various sorts. Mm -hmm. and, but the core is actually quite small. And even that core is not stable because the moment you get into difficult times, they say, Chalo, let's look at underperformers and weed them out. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So essentially what you have as a result is musical chairs mm -hmm. and the music can stop suddenly and you may not have a chair. Okay. So this is happening more and m more right now with what you see is happening in with the, you know, tide flowing out of venture capital. Right suddenly all these unicorns are realizing they may not be really unicorns. Right. And they're really, really focusing on headcount, productivity, profitability, etc. Mm -hmm. And so there are a lot of people who are quietly right. finding themselves out of work. Right. The third trend that is uh, important is longevity. You talked earlier about the 100 year life. Many of us hopefully will live into our 90s, which means that we'll want to work and stay engaged and productive much longer. But the problem is that conflicts with companies which generally prefer younger employees because they have better, you know, more relevant skills, more energy, and they cost less. Right. So pretty much after 45 or 50, you're living on borrowed time. Okay. And it'll be harder and harder to find a job. For all these reasons in my book, I said, forget about employment. Think at least about being self-employed, mm -hmm. learning to stand on your own feet mm -hmm. and make a living out of your skills. Right. And best yet is if you can actually become an entrepreneur and succeed in starting something. It doesn't have to be a unicorn. It could just be a decent business that employs five or 10 people, but it's sustainable. Right. And so I think today, if you want to succeed, whatever you do, it doesn't matter what your profession is. You could be a comedian, you know, you could be a marketer, a salesperson, a, te a techie. You better have an entrepreneurial mindset and entrepreneurial skills. Mm -hmm. And that's going to leave you in better shape.